grinding wheat berries. Wheat berries. What, what you need, need to know about, about seeds is that, is that they, they sprout. sprout. There's, There's energy, energy in, in every seed. seed. And, and inside each seed, another plant, plant that, that wants, wants to grow. grow. These are wheat, wheat berries. berries. Seeds that, that I kept, kept moist in a, in a jar. jar. Just, Just a few, a few days, days later, later look, look what, what happened. happened. Seeds come, come in many, many, many sizes, sizes and, and shapes. shapes. Every, Every different, different sort of plant, plant has, has a different, different sort, sort of seed. seed. Every seed has the power to make, to make a, a new plant. plant. Not, Not every seed, seed will do it. it. To, to grow, grow, each seed must move, move or be moved to a place, place where, where everything is exactly, is exactly right. right. Where there's, where there's just, just enough moisture, just, just enough light, light and, just and just enough space, space for the, for the new plant, plant to grow. grow. Milkweed seeds. seeds. Other, Other seeds, seeds wind, wind up, up by, by chance, chance in places, in places where, they where they are able, able to, grow. to grow. Cherries. Cherries. From, From the seeds, seeds farmer sow, so, fruit, fruit trees, trees grow. grow. In, in the spring, spring and in summer, summer come, come wonderful, wonderful fruits, fruits, delicious, sweet plums, plums and, and cherries, Peaches, apricots, and many, and many others. Plums. Pumpkins. Melons. If you ever had a watermelon in the late summer, or carved a jack-o'-lantern from a pumpkin in the fall, or cut a slice of juicy red tomato with a knife, then you've seen fruits that have not just one, but many seeds inside. Wheat. When you eat a sandwich, consider this. The bread is not much more than the seeds of a grass called wheat, ground up into flour and mixed with some water and a little bit of yeast. is another kind of grass. The seeds are formed in clusters. The clusters, of course, are known as ears. The seeds are known as kernels. Stick tights. If you go for a walk in the woods in the fall and you happen to pass some stick tight plants, the chances, chances are you'll come, come back with a bunch of their seeds on the cuffs of your pants and stuck to the tops of your socks. Berries. Raspberries and blackberries are clusters of sweet and juicy beads that birds and people love to taste. Even when, when they're eaten, the seeds remain alive, and eventually they drop to the ground, often many miles away by then, and the seeds take root. Acorns and Oaks If you stand under a big oak tree in the fall, you'll see thousands of acorns all over the ground. The acorns, of course, are the seeds of the tree. Squirrels eat them, but they often bury them first, saving them up for another day. Sometimes, though, the squirrel forgets where it put them. The squirrel's mistake becomes a brand new oak tree. Dandelions. When the yellow 
flower of the dandelion is dry. What's left are the seeds in a fluffy white ball. If there's a wind, or if you blow on the seeds, they float on the breeze and settle when and where they will. Maples. You see the seeds of the maple tree everywhere in the middle of spring. They have wings called samaras that make them flutter in the breeze as they fall from the trees like tiny helicopters. Impatience. The impatience is a pretty plant whose flower produces a tiny pod. When the pod is ripe, at the slightest touch, the seeds go flying. Lotus. The lotus grows not in the ground, but in the water. Its flowers make a fruit of sorts, and the fruit produces seeds. The seeds dry up, fall off, and are carried away downstream. Coconuts. The coconut palm grows in tropical zones, often right by the sea. When its seeds are ripe, they fall off, and some of them land in the surf. They catch a ride on the currents and waves, and sooner or later, they wash up on another shore. There, another palm tree may grow. Avocados. The seed of an avocado is called a pit, and with it, you can have some fun. Try this. Stick some toothpicks in its side and set it with a flat end down in a glass or jar that is mostly filled with water. In a week or two, or maybe more, the pit will start to crack and split. Some roots will stick out from the bottom. A stem and leaves will grow from the top. It's now an avocado plant.